Hello and welcome at the Orchid Saga. My name is Elke Wiesma. I'm an orchid grower from the Netherlands. And today I have another a repotting video. I know I have quite a few these uh, last uh, weeks repotting videos, but that's because we are basically starting the new growing season. And that's why I like to do my repots uh, as much as I can. It's just because it's the, for me, I think at least the perfect time to do the repots. And especially with orchids that are already settled in, in a self-watering system. Even though you can basically uh, repot them throughout the year, which is what I do as well. But if I have the chance, I try to do it as this, uh, on the start of the season. season. And the start of the season is basically uh, higher temperatures, more light, more, uh, more daylight and longer days. So that's basically the growing season. Uh, and it always works better with the extra sunlight. I do ha I have quite a lot of artificial light and it works. My orchids keep growing through winter, at least most of them. But still, if I can, I do it in the, in the start of the growing season. Today I have a fairly, a fairly a big plant to repot. This is the uh, yeah, Miltonia Bastian or, uh, Wittmer. Wittmer. Or the sea breeze. I have it uh, in my uh, notes as a sea breeze. They look very similar, so it basically is no ID. <laughs> and I have uh, reported this in 20 and 21. In uh, last year, it didn't need a repot, and now it does again. And that's because this one is just growing um, like crazy, and it's in a good way. But look at these new growths. And as you can see here, we have already some roots over the edge of the pot. So this is a, uh, this, I need to repot it now. It's just starting to put out way more roots. So those can go uh, nicely in a new setup. I probably will break a few of those there because these, these are already uh, attached to uh, the pot, but there are more coming just above my thumb. I hope you can see it. And this is funny enough, uh, I, uh, one of uh, actually the the second one, but the first one that I film in a net pot. Uh, so yeah, I have I had some comments about it. The last comment was from uh, Robbie Robertson, I believe. Uh, also, uh, according to the net pots, we you will have quite some roots going through those little little, uh, little teeny tiny holes. And I mentioned to her, which is basically my uh, philosophy behind it. If they have quite a lot of roots going through those holes, that means that you at least have roots to work with. And obviously you will have that with orchids that do grow well. But I started using the uh, net pots for, especially for the orchids that didn't do well. So they ha didn't have much roots to begin with. So those, uh, that was that a philosophy. At least I had some roots to work with. This one, I just wanted to see if everything, uh, if, if something different happened, but it grows incredibly well. And I think I might have a solution to that problem through all those uh, little roots coming out of the, those holes. So um, I'm just going to show you what, what i am uh, come up with. I have a plan for this one. So I'm going to settle everything uh, down uh, in the right place and then we will uh, continue this uh, video. Yeah, I think this is a little bit better camera angle, so you can see now the plant. I just counted the new growths, just out of curiosity. 12, you guys. 12 new growths. So this one is uh, telling me that it would like to become a fairly large plant, which is uh, okay, of course. I'm not going to divide it. You probably hear me say this more often in my videos. I try to grow them as big as I can, because I really like these uh, big uh, orchids. And I try to imagine that at least every goat will uh, have one spike. So we would have 12 bloom spikes uh, later this year. And I think that would look uh, great. But at a certain point, if they uh, keep growing as, uh, as this one does, of course, I need to divide them at some point. But not yet. And I hope I have a pot, a new pot for this, big enough for at least two more years. But we will see that later on in the video. I'm first going to take it out and this. I can see already a heck of a lot of roots coming out of those tiny holes on the side. There we go. You can see what a root system, you guys. It's crazy. 
Look at this. The water is running out, but it's going in the tray here. Yeah, I hope you can see even on the back where the all the bulbs are. It's absolutely beautiful. Some roots on the bottom, but this one was sitting on the on the pot. It was not hanging, so therefore we do not have much roots uh, coming on the, uh, out of the, underneath the pot, which is uh, handy in this case. Just the water, you can see there's uh, st different stuff in there, like I always have. I do not flush much, only when I just uh, repotted new orchids, in most cases, or I should have a pH problem or something I, uh, that I need to flush. Meanwhile, I'm trying to uh, find a place for this pot. <laughs> and I'm back again. Sorry, you guys, but um, a, a lot of roots. So what are we going to do? You all wonder, of course, if I'm trying to take this out or not. <laughs> I uh, imagine you uh, ask yourself that question. Well, I did for several weeks ask myself that question as well, but I'm not going to take it out. I'm not going to take it out. Um, I have... Let me show it to you guys so it makes a little bit more sense. This is a, basically a new setup, but I have a fairly large pot here. It's not that high, but it's very wide, so we have quite a lot of room to grow. And what I do is just I'm going to take the net pot and the orchid and I will place it in this pot and I will fill it up with plumbers. But here comes the bot. I think there is one thing we need to consider and that is that we want, still want these pumice that's in the net pot to be, get wet as well. So therefore I'm going to uh, cut off the rim of the pot and I will put the new pumice around it as much as I can, as close as I can and make it at least in contact with the uh, pumice above here. So we have uh, the pumice in the pot and around this net pot needs to be in contact with one another. So that's uh, the idea of it. But yeah, this, even though it would be getting a little bit dry inside of the pot, these roots will take over. We have a lot of uh, new growing tips. So if that doesn't work, I think this orchid will still grow like nothing ever happened because it has such a beautiful root system coming out of the pot, going into the new pots soon. So, um, what I'm going to do, I found that this clipper is really working well to get, uh, and basically need a bit of a start, but I'm going to cut just around. And as you can see, this doesn't go as quickly, but I'm going to zoom in a little bit and then I'm going to speed this up, of course. <laughs> so you can a little bit see better what I'm, what I'm doing, but I'm just putting this in and I'm cut those little teeny tiny holes open like this and that's it and now you can see the beautiful roots <laughs> a bit closer but that's what I'm going to do and like I said I'm going to speed this up because this may take a while I'm obviously going to be careful with the roots so it might take a bit longer. Okay, I think I did go all the way around the pot, so now things are getting starting to get loose here, which is what we wanted, of course, and then some media will fall off. And now I'm going just to cut the rim of the pot to make it a little bit easier. This plas plastic is not that hard, 
so it's fairly easy uh, to cut but it makes it uh, very nice to work with you can see we have a beautiful open space now this will go in a pot the, the new pumice will touch here and the new growth can go uh, into her their uh, new spaces around them <laughs> into the new pot uh, now I need to turn this around so this is a little bit tricky here because we have some new roots like I said I'm going to try to save them but it wouldn't be the end of the world because this one has obviously a massive root system not a piece here so yeah let me see if I can easily try to uh, push it downwards a little bit I think I need to cut it here open here yeah. we're still attached there come on come on slowly slowly get it out and there it goes how about those roots yeah I think I think we did well I have one brownies root there so but the rest is still attached to the plants so I think we are doing whoops we are doing fine so that is that now I need the new pot and my new uh, mix the new pumice so I will uh, be right back with a new uh, different setup <laughs> um, yeah <laughs> I, uh, one of the da these days I need a bigger table, that's for sure, but anyhow, <laughs> no, I have quite a big table, but yeah, I need some small pommers, some big pommers, and I have a fairly big net pot and an even way bigger pot here. <laughs> so let me see. First, I always measure these pots, but you can see, hopefully, that this net pot is a bit lower. It will come to this level. If you compare it with a new pot so i will fill in this part with some uh, larger leca uh, pumice we have fairly big holes here so uh, the small pumice will fall through very easily so i'm going to make some noise and i'm going to use quite a layer i think i need let me check. Yeah, I think this is about right. Um, how are we going to do this, you guys? <laughs> Let me put this to the side first. I'm going to grab the plant and I should be able to put it on here. Yes. <laughs> Don't let it fall, of course. Put the big pot here so I now can move it in here. And I hope it's about the right height, otherwise it needs to go back, but I should be able to lift it. Yes, one more time. Here we go. Some more water is coming out and I'm slowly just putting it fairly in the middle because I also have on the sides of these pots, we have a new growth here and also there. And the rest is in front in this side where my hand is. You will see it in a minute. But... Uh, Oh yeah, this should be at least for two years, I think. Well, let me uh, get rid of this tray. So you can see a bit more of the plant. And there are the new growths. Here we are. So yeah, this is a very large space here between my hands. I hope you can see. And on the sides, you can see those sticking out here. Mm, yeah, one or two more years should be doable, I think. And I see a old brack here that I need to take off. So it's easier for the roots to find the media. Normally I not always do this with these large plants who are already established. But now just taking out some old leaves where the roots are coming from. Like I said. I have it here on the table, so why not make it a little bit easier for, for the roots, but those are going in the right direction already. Let me see. Yeah, that was the only one. One more time. Is this the best place to put it? I can now easily adjust it, so <laughs> let me just take my time for this. A little bit more to the right, so... 
This should do, should do, I think. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fill it up first, first layer with a larger leca, uh, pumice. I keep saying layer, saying leca these days, <laughs> of today. So I don't have to use as much of the small pumps. I'm sorry. Let me put it in. So yeah, this is quite a big pot, isn't it? But I'm using these uh, more on the bigger ones. You may have seen them already. So far they were really work well. But of course the only downside is that it's not translucent. So I cannot see the roots growing on the sides. But yeah, this is the only way that I can find pots big enough for my liking. And uh, otherwise these, these are not that uh, expensive. Otherwise it would may get fairly expensive. But I'm not even sure if they make these types of pots translucent. I have no idea. Don't think so, but who knows? Some nice layer of thick pumice, large pumice, I should say. Even though this is an uh, orchid with smaller roots, I use some large l l pumice. Because it's, uh, it doesn't matter that much. And I think we now have a little bit more air gaps for this plant as well. They all seem to uh, like, of course, some air. Especially the terrestrial uh, orchids. Uh, epiphytic, I'm sorry, not terrestrial. It's the opposite, terrestrial. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I shouldn't do two things at the same time. <laughs> That's not really uh, a thing I'm good at. But uh, anyhow... <laughs> So first some big uh, large pumice and then we have a nice layer. I'm not sure if it shows on camera. I think it does, but just to be sure you can see, we have a nice layer of the thicker pumice. The rest I will fill in with the uh, small pumice. So yeah, we have always uh, also work with, uh, with the air, of course. And this smaller pumice is a little bit uh, dustier because it just breaks down a little bit not really breaks down but the dust little parts falling off is very easily so it makes it creates that dust even though it's clean so i might you might hear blow a little bit because i want the dust gone <laughs> or at least that way so i don't breathe it in too much and i'm just uh Slowly building up, and we are really uh, getting some rare already. So yeah, this is the first repotting of a net net pot that I'm filming, and yeah, I don't. I think we we don't need to overthink it too much. Sometimes, and that, and other the other side is of course you need to think about it, but I but I had a plan i'm just testing it out it's not that i want only growing my orchids in net pots don't get me wrong but for some i think it might be a bit easier to get them to grow better and i'm just testing them out on a few plants and i must admit those are way cheaper than the uh, regular pots that i buy <laughs> so it's uh, convenient at that point as well <laughs> So yeah, we need quite some media, of course. And that's not bad, it's not that expensive. Plus, if we can reuse it, it's awesome, of course. I wanna put a little one here. Now beautiful in contact with one another, the new pumice and the old pumice, it should wick perfectly. I don't see uh, any, foresee for don't uh, know uh, problems on that, that part. And I think this is enough. So, of course, then we need a 
layer of pebbles, and we you now need quite a bit of pebbles. <laughs> We're just gonna put them over it like this. Well, actually, not as much pebbles as I thought, but a bit more than normally. <laughs> the smaller parts. Oh yeah, <laughs> funny enough, you can probably see it here, here's the water meter, but it has no function at all anymore because we created quite a layer of pumice and I thought of it while I was repotting, I was talking about something else and I, was, I thought I need to mention this, I could have taken it out because I don't need a water meter for this setup and I will explain it later on in the end of the video you will see why I don't use any uh, water meters with these large parts or I don't have to, I, sh I could if I wanted to but I don't have to you will see it in, uh, in the end of the video like I said but I did take, uh, forget to take it out it's not the end of the world but yeah I could have, have uh, reused it well maybe in several uh, s some, some years from now <laughs> When we, we do another uh, repot on this one, I uh, finally might take it out. But like I said, I'm not gonna mess with it now, of course. This repot uh, did go very well. Even though it's a very big one, it wasn't that hard to do, actually. And I found it really nice to film because this is the first one uh, that I have on camera with a net pot. It's nice to discuss that for later on. I will have uh, talk more about the net pots coming year. Uh, I will show the the plants uh, then that make me decide to put them in a net pot. The ones that do not grow very well, the roots. I hope they will have more roots now, of course, but that's uh, for another video. I am going to floss this above the sink and then we'll put it back and I will uh, meet you guys there in the greenhouse. <laughs> so I have my Aunt Miltonias on this side of the greenhouse and as I was talking about I did use these pots more, it's the same setup. These two, uh, well actually one brushy type and also a Miltasia, so that's uh, the one on the right, a cross between the Brasia and the Mil Miltonias. So those are in there as well, and they seem to do uh, very well. So I thought, well, this one wants to grow big, and this is uh, the sea breeze, or uh, the Whitmer, I'm not sure which one. Uh, we just uh, did a repot it, here she is. And next to it is my uh, Ragnellii, the big one. And that is the only one that I have found a translucent pot for, but actually it wasn't a pot, it was a lid of something. <laughs> but um, yeah, those are hard to find. But here I have my uh, very big plants, I think, at least for me, these are, these are doing fairly well. And yeah, I think, like we uh, did discuss, that this one should be able to grow on for two ye more years. I hope so. But at least this part is fairly big. So this is one year, two years, this would be three, but that would be two, I think. But then again, we will see. Maybe I will do another repot, maybe then I will divide it, because if I then divide it maybe in two parts, maybe in three, I still would have quite some big plans. So, But for now I try to get it as big as I can. And um, because I really enjoy the look of those bigger plants and I have my uh, royalties there. This is also a very big one. This one has uh, at least 25 new growths. That one had 18. Several weeks ag ago I did uh, count them. One of them is, uh, is now at Inces. His had, I believe, also 25 new growth. So these uh, girls are, want to grow very big. And these ones are coming around as well, that one. Of course, as usual, no, not, not as usual, but what happened more often, I did forget a part. So this is a little of interruption because I was talking about that water beater. And this is why I don't use it anymore. Well, the camera doesn't let it show, but if you here in real life, you can really see that there is water in this tray. Let me try this way. Yeah, it's very dark on camera, at least is how I see it in my screen. But now I just can see if there's water in these trays and uh, therefore I don't need a water meter anymore. So yeah, that was the repot. The first one that I filmed in a net pot. 
Uh, this is also a Miltonia that I did a repot. It has a small net pot inside and it lives now in a bigger net pot. Same story. That just was for me to try out if it would work. And I think it does, so therefore I thought uh, I did that one last week, m maybe three, four days ago, N not that long ago. And I thought, now I'm going to grab the camera and we will, uh, we'll see. And I, I really wanted to film this one because it's nice to film these uh, big repots, I think. So, um, yeah, that's it for now. Of course, if you have any questions, please, please leave them in the comment section below. If you want to, please give this a, a like. And if you didn't already have, maybe you want to subscribe to my channel. That would be really awesome, of course. <laughs> for now, I hope to see you at the next one. Bye-bye.